A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. On Monday, Israel's President Isaac Herzog commenced worldwide commemorations, marking the first anniversary of the devastating Hamas attack on October 7, 2023. This tragic event led to the deaths of approximately 1,205 individuals, primarily civilians, and has left many families mourning their loved ones while grappling with the ongoing conflict. Memorials and vigils are being held across the globe to honor the victims and the hostages still held captive in Gaza. The day began with a poignant moment of silence at 6.29 a.m., the exact time the attack started, at Kibbutz Reem, the site of the Nova Music Festival where heavily armed Hamas fighters killed at least 370 attendees. President Herzog met with grieving families, many of whom were in tears, as they remembered their lost loved ones. In addition to the memorials in Israel, a rally is scheduled at Kibbutz Biri, where over 120 people were killed during the assault. Demonstrators will gather to advocate for the return of the hostages still held by Palestinian militants in Gaza. Meanwhile, in Tel Aviv, relatives of the hostages and their supporters will hold a rally demanding a ceasefire. French President Emmanuel Macron expressed his solidarity with the victims and their families, stating that the pain remains as vivid as it was a year ago. He shared his thoughts on social media in Hebrew, English, and French. Internationally, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese of Australia is expected to attend an event in Melbourne, and a candlelight vigil is planned in Sydney to show support for Palestinians after a year marked by conflict. In New Delhi, students are organizing a rally to call for a free Palestine. In the United States, the White House will hold a vigil for the Israeli hostages, while former President Donald Trump plans to commemorate the anniversary at a remembrance event in Miami organized by Jewish community leaders. The first vigils and memorials began a day earlier on Sunday in cities around the world, including Tel Aviv, London, Paris, and Berlin. Tens of thousands of protesters took to the streets over the weekend, demanding a ceasefire in Gaza and Lebanon. In Tel Aviv, friends and relatives of the victims from the Nova Dance Festival held a candlelight vigil, lighting candles and embracing one another in remembrance. In London, thousands gathered in Hyde Park, waving Israeli flags and holding placards with the faces of the hostages, lighting candles in their honor. Mandy Damari, whose daughter Emily was taken hostage, spoke emotionally about the pain of separation, stating, one year has passed and she is still in hell. On the same day, a national march for Palestine took place in London, with protesters chanting for an end to bombing civilians and expressing solidarity with Lebanon. Berlin also saw demonstrations, with a pro-Israel rally near the Brandenburg Gate drawing around 500 attendees, while over a thousand marched in support of Palestinians, chanting, Gaza, you are not alone. Commemorations were held in Paris, where thousands gathered to remember the victims, and in Geneva, where 300 people paid tribute in front of the UN offices. The impact of the October 7th attack has been profound, leading to an Israeli military offensive in Gaza that has resulted in the deaths of at least 41,870 individuals, most of whom are civilians, according to the Gaza Health Ministry. British Prime Minister Keir Starmer emphasized the need to stand with the Jewish community and called for a ceasefire in Gaza and Lebanon. In Morocco, tens of thousands of protesters gathered in Rabat, demanding the severance of diplomatic ties with Israel. The Vatican marked the anniversary by taking up a collection for Gaza and publishing a letter from Pope Francis expressing solidarity with the people of Gaza. He emphasized the need for dialogue and peace, highlighting the suffering of those displaced by violence. Commemorations in Germany included a yellow ribbon displayed at the German Chancellery to honor the hostages, with Chancellor Olaf Scholz stressing the need for a ceasefire and international efforts to prevent further conflict. Italian Premier Giorgia Meloni visited a synagogue in Rome to commemorate the anniversary, reaffirming Israel's right to defend itself while also lamenting the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. As the world reflects on the past year, leaders from various nations are calling for an end to violence and a path toward peace, while families continue to seek justice and healing from the wounds of this tragic event. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.